engaged in merch was funny. I don't think stuff like that's funny. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary and manipulative. I don't think it's good for anyone involved. It's like one thing to like like a fictional character that isn't a real person that can't disappoint you. But people become so emotionally reliant on these terminally online women who can't be stable because like we're terminally online women and they inevitably get disappointed and have like a meltdown. But I guess because it's like you have like the facade of like a VTuber avatar, anime avatar that I guess they forget that it's a woman behind it, like a real person. I can make her worse. I mean, you sure can. She doesn't really play cringe. I feel like it could be done if people could take it as a role playing thing and not like seriously, but then people get like way too into it. And then when the person like, it's not good in any situation at all ever to fully emotionally rely on someone. But I've seen like so many times where it's like, I'm just not a fan of it on both sides. I think it's kind of, I don't know, people do what they're gonna do. But I feel like it's a little bit manipulative. I don't know. So I feel like you know what kind of people you're gonna be appealing to as well. It's hard to tell when the GFE goes too hard and people will fall for it. It's not hard. Here's the secret. You're talking to someone through a chat box. They're not like actually knowing you. Unless you're like grooming them and sending them money to try to meet them and like fuck them in real life or something. I don't want to say like, you know, she'll never love you, but you as a person, no. People can definitely get attached to like chat as an entity. Like it's two-sided in a sense that you can definitely become like reliant on your chat and like care a lot, you know? Which is like normal. Like obviously you you want and should care a lot about what your community thinks. This isn't something I should talk about because I'm going to get fucking schizophrenic people with me and having a meltdown because I told them something that they believe deep down but don't want to accept. I think that's a lot of what it comes down to. And why some people are like so desperate to cook themselves constantly. I mean like I have VTubers that I watch that I really enjoy that, that do GFE or GFE light or like that level of like attachment to their chat and stuff. The feelings can be valid in stream but when you take it away when you're taking it out of the stream and you're like I don't know when you start taking stuff like out of stream and causing issues it's like makes no one that's involved want to be there. You either let yourself go and go all in and have fun until you don't, or you take it with a grain of salt and end up not having that much fun. I don't know, I can... I mean, I guess because I'm a woman. But I can enjoy streamers that do GFE. Like, enjoy it. Feel fuzzy, feel happy watching and stuff. But... Not... Like, get too into it. Like, obviously, like, one of my favorite VTubers is very... Like, attached to her chat GFE in a sense. Not like, I don't know how to explain. It's not like like super duper hardcore GFE, but she definitely um like invokes those kind of feelings and stuff. And I can enjoy it. There's like a like a line if that makes sense. It's called the experience is supposed to be fake. Yeah, it's like a role playing kind of thing. Emotional support for most is important, but it should never be required to exist. Emotional support is not emotional reliance. Emotional dependency. Where it's like, if you have someone where if they're sad, you're sad. If they're happy, like if you, completely base your emotional feelings on them that's like bad 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 because what happens if like what happens if the streamer like quits what if they get fired what if they die like i'm aware of that like the people that would become like emotional dependents because they don't have like a support system or anything else or whatnot like obviously well maybe not obviously but i'm obviously to myself like overly dependent on y'all and stuff because i don't have like i don't know you heard me like i haven't been out in over a month and shit like that I don't know. I guess it's like the ability to like step back and realize when things become like an issue. You know, I think it's like a two-way street. It's the responsibility of the person watching, but it's also the responsibility of the streamer, you know, to recognize that, yeah, to an extent, it's honestly manipulative to play into it and the levels at which you uh bring people in, I guess. I don't know. It's just gonna be careful. And as a streamer, you should, in my opinion, filter isn't the right word but like if you notice things are getting away you should say something maybe i don't know pride of love can't get girlfriend or i'll get love from funny anime woman yeah i don't think that makes it like okay though i think in that situation this sounds like shit i don't know i see a lot of stuff i'm terminally online so i think about things a lot this feels like awful to give it as advice but in that situation play like a dating sim or something don't go after a vtuber because you're going after a terminal like i said it's a like, mostly terminally online, you know, women. She will disappoint you. I will disappoint you. <clears throat> you disappoint other people. It's just part of being human. But if you emotionally were on this person and you're- Like, with your friends, you know. If they disappoint you, it's okay because it's like, you're expecting that and like, it's just part- Like, you know that they're human, you know. <clears throat> and you can like, you can cope with that. But then, with uh, like, having like a VTuber, there's like a weird kind of line because of like, the characterness of it. That when they disappoint you, I think there's some kind of like, 
for a lot of people, there's some kind of like mental difficulty sounds worse. I'm not saying they're like stupid because it's like you're used to them like behaving in this way, like a character is that when the parts of them show that make them human, that you get reminded about that they're not a character anymore. I think it's like hard to view them as fully a person behind it when they've been playing this kind of character for you so much. So that's why it's like dangerous, even if like, you know, you think you're like, okay, or whatever. It can be dangerous, I think, because then your expectations get kind of weird. Because it's like with a character, if a character pisses you off, it's like, that's how they're written. But like a different character or like ignore that part of it. With like a person, it's like what they've done is going to affect like how you interact with them and stuff. Everybody Versus with games or whatever, there's only so much interaction you can like do. Yeah, streaming is a weird thing. It's like a lot. I've talked about this before that it's like weird to be streaming because it's not like anything in the past that's happened to be like directly interacting with and like like the people that are paying me I'm directly interacting with and that's something I have to something a lot of people don't consider something I have to think about a lot since I'm like being paid I need to like be careful with like what I say and do I don't know explain because like in the past it's like celebrities and whatever there was like a huge gap between the interaction of like celebrities and their fans and that's like not a thing for me like directly interacting with people who like weird saying like fans and stuff like it feels like egotistical or something but like directly interacting with like y'all in my chat and stuff or like my discord and everything i have to be like careful that i don't it's like we're like cause, like i need to make money to live but i don't want to like encourage people to not do what they would like normally do if that makes sense it, i'm going cross quickly what i'm trying to say streamers fully in control of how far the gp goes if it goes too far it's like 99 percent streamers fault Yes, I agree with that, except in cases where someone is like in an agency or something, there's definitely going to be a level of pressure. Like there are some agencies who like definitely encourage and play into GFE and such. And if a streamer doesn't want to do that anymore or wants to ease up on it, there's probably going to be pressure from above. At the end of the day, like I can do what I want to do, but like if I'm in a company, obviously what the company cares about is going to be making money. And so if I were to do something suddenly, like not stream as bad or anything, Doing things that will like hurt the company financially because obviously it's like GFE makes a lot of money and then so it's like your company is going to want you to make the money and as someone you know you can't just choose to not do what you want to do versus me I can just be like hmm. yeah I think I'll just do something else tomorrow. I'm gonna put like this. If you are human, they will disappoint you, just like a normal person. But if you expect that person to be per perfect, you're gonna be worse off than if you just use the dating sim. That's what I'm saying. If you like GFE and want to really get into it, play a dating sim. Find a fake waifu, waifu and anime girl, not a real, not a VTuber, because you are not going to have that inevitable, in my opinion, I feel like it's inevitable that something's gonna happen. This is just how it is with people. Whether it's something that actually did happen or something that people go like fucking insane crazy and just make up some, make something small as like, you know, make a mountain out of a hole kind of thing. I mean, at the end of the day, like having an emotional, romantic, sexual attraction to like something that isn't real isn't like good but i mean if it's going to happen do it to a fictional character not someone that you're viewing as a fictional character that is a real character getting tracked to a vtuber is just odd there's a human being behind it that you never met yeah but like i said it's a two-way street it's kind of odd i guess but there's also a lot of streamers that encourage it hardcore so i think i'm just extremely paranoid i overthink this shit way too much i don't think most streamers give a shit honestly and I don't mean to like talk crap about people, but I don't think most people like give a fuck about how they come across or like how they'll be taken, especially a lot of YouTubers. And I hate to say it because obviously like, I'm, I'm not the most mature right person, but it's like immature young women who just don't think about it, about like how what they do will affect their fans and stuff, especially when you get into stuff like like ranting and things like that. I mean, from what I have seen, what I know, it's like a, a lot of people just don't care. I don't think it's necessarily out of like malice or anything. It's just ignorance. But I think it's like you you got to think about like having being a streamer. You have a very like big position of power over people. Like eventually you have to accept that and you have to let it affect how you treat what you talk about on stream, how you treat your community. It's like why like when I have times when I'm struggling and stuff, I try not to bring it to stream. I'm not like shaming people that do bring that stuff to their stream or anything, but as like someone that watched people for a long time, I like very easily realize is that like, especially as someone that you're a fan of someone, like how they feel will very, very, very easily affect. And so like if I have a streamer that I really watch and they're sad and they're talking about like on stream about how depressed they are and all this shit in their life is so bad and all this it's just like i don't know i feel like there's better places to put that energy and it sucks because it's like when you have a chat and things like that obviously it's like 
y'all care a lot about the streamer, so you're going to tell them that they can talk to you. You do want to listen and things like that, but I hope that you guys can also acknowledge when it's toxic and when it's bad for your mental health to listen to these, like, listen to that. And like, especially because it's like, it sucks you can listen to everything, but you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it, you know? If you're watching a streamer and they're like, hurting, you can throw money at them, but otherwise you can't do anything about it. I don't know. I think all this shit a lot. It bothers me. I wish people had more responsibility. Like, we're more responsible for themselves. It's just because, like, I'll see, like, how, like, depressed other people get watching others. I don't know. We know people IRL disappoint you much quicker, so you get used to it. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is because, like, as a streamer, you're wanting to put your best foot forward, like, show the best thing all the time. Like, was said about how, like, Instagram, you know, you're only showing people your best. So you're always only going to hopefully see the best of someone on their stream, but they'll have times where, you know, they might struggle or whatever. And so, if you get used to them being like this perfect character, when those moments of struggle like show through, it's, n it's not gonna be good. No bueno. I think the part of like, the thing with streamers is like, there's that like, what if, kind of like little cope. It's like, you know it's not real, not gonna ever meet her, blah blah blah. But what if? And that's like what makes the difference between like that, or like a chat box chatbot or dating someone, whatever. It's like, you just gotta, like, accept that in the reality of things, a young woman who is a streamer is not gonna be, like, a good partner to begin with anyway. And that you're gonna get, like, disappointed or whatnot or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Giffy is a symptom of a large problem. Yeah, it is. I just wish people didn't manipulate with it. I was so calling a GFE VTuber who was, like, depressed every second stream and it stressed me the fuck out times. Yeah. See, that's what I mean, is like, when you get emotionally dependent on someone, or just like, like someone in general, if, if they're constantly doing that kind of shit, it, it weighs on you. And not in the sense of like, they're not allowed to be depressed, but it's like, at some point, when like, you're ranting, like, cause there are some streamers, like, I click on their stream, and it's like, they're fucking ranting every time. Like, they're always upset about something. And it's like, at some point, you have to like, stop and look at yourself and realize like, how that's affecting the people around you. It's not that I'm like, I'm putting on a fake happy persona, but it's like why I'll recognize that if I feel like dog shit, I just won't stream. Like if I don't think it's gonna be a good stream, then I'd rather just not stream than to come on and like rant or do whatever. Try to find like other ways to like you don't owe anyone anything. Don't feel like you have to stay around someone that's like making you feel miserable because you feel like you need to support them. Cause you're like a person too. Shut the fuck up. Talking bad about my friend, I'll beat your ass, motherfucker. 